chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714-898-0765 Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. On our program today, we have Tom, Senator Tom Umberg to talk about the $10, uh, $10 million dollar grant or budget that's set aside for the dual language immersion program. But I also wanted to highlight, you know, three resolutions that, that Senator Umberg has had been able to do to help the Vietnamese community. Um, the first being to recognize Black April, also the Vietnamese Armed Forces Day, and for King Hung Vuong. À, Julie cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV trong chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia, gia đình và xã hội. Hôm nay Julie có thời gian nói chuyện với Senator Tom Umberg, đã là thượng nghị sĩ Tom Umberg. Julie muốn chia sẻ với, với quý vị về một cái budget 10 triệu đo- dollars để cho giúp cho chương trình song ngữ. Mà thêm nữa có thời gian nói chuyện chi tiết thêm về cái, uh, cái Senate Bill Resolution, đó là ba, ba sự kiện lớn trước là cái um, tháng tư đen là Black April, thêm nữa là the Vietnamese Armed Forces Day and là, cái thứ ba đó là uh, King um, Hùng Vương. Uh, Senator Umber, thank you so much for setting aside your valuable time to come onto the show today. I know that uh, it's a great opportunity for the community to meet you, to see who you are as a human, but also <laughs> to know what you've done in the community. Yeah. You know, because many a times, you know, when I meet my elected officials, they're just so far away from me. I never feel like I had a chance to really sit down. So I just want to say thank you for setting us time to, to sit down with me and with our viewers at home for Little Saigon TV to, to learn more about so many things that you've done. Well, thank you. Um, our job is to serve. Just like your job is to serve, our job is to serve our constituents. And I'm blessed to have a very large Vietnamese American constituency. And so having an opportunity to talk a little bit about what we do and how we can be helpful, that's, uh, that's wonderful. Now, um, I know the main reason that I want you here, because I want to learn more about that $10 million dollar budget that is set aside for dual language immersion program. I know you called it an enrichment program. So what do you mean by enrichment program? Well, uh, a couple of things. One, Orange County leads the way in dual language immersion with respect to Vietnamese language and English. Garden Grove School District, Anaheim School District, and importantly, Westminster School District all have dual immersion programs. Uh, the $10 million dollars set aside for them to be able to access that money is to enhance and enrich the program. And here's why. Um, I'm second generation uh, American and I've lost the language of my grandparents. Uh-huh. And that's a shame because that means that I, when I was young I couldn't really communicate with them. I lost some of the culture. And the Vietnamese culture and the Vietnamese history, particularly at this time in history, is very important to preserve. It's important that grandparents can tell their grandchildren and communicate their story of leaving Vietnam, their story of what was like in Vietnam. It's important for parents to be able to both educate their young people and to uh, communicate their values in their mother tongue. Because by doing that, it enriches obviously those young people, but as those young people interact with others, that improves our whole community. So it's an enrichment program. It's an enrichment program because we all benefit from, we benefit from the Vietnamese American community, but I, I mentioned while we were off the air, my yes. uh, granddaughter uh, went to, in San Francisco, went to Chinese school, and she picked up not just uh, some of the language, but also the culture, and she's so much better for it, and we're so much better for it. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to make sure that that we preserve um, the language, we preserve the culture, and we preserve a method for folks to be able to communicate and so that young people also feel comfortable in their school environment. It can be intimidating, um, as, as I think your viewers know, to, to be in a school where um, you may not understand the language that's primarily spoken by others. And so we want you to be in a learning environment where you feel as comfortable as po- possible and you can be the the scientist, you can be the doctor, you can be the lawyer, you can be the engineer that's going to enhance all our lives someday. Well, thank you so much for putting in that into perspective about what that looks like. You know, I, I was a refugee from the Vietnam War. So when we came here, my mom actually told me to not speak Vietnamese. She says, you're in a new country. I want you to learn a new language and I want you to be successful. So the whole time that my mom was with me on earth, I actually didn't speak Vietnamese. 
as I mentioned to all my guests and I tell the viewership always is that I didn't speak Vietnamese for 30 years of my life. But at 30 years old, when I lost my mom, I actually learned to be closer to my community. I quit my job at Garden Girl Unified as a speech pathologist. I opened my own practice and I was forced to learn the language because all my patients that came to me, they spoke Vietnamese. They, they liked me even though I didn't speak Vietnamese, <laughs> but I, had, I have a Vietnamese face, right? <laughs> and I, was a, I have a familiar face. And I think when someone trusts me, it actually made me want to learn the language more. And the more I did charity work and the more I started you know, OC autism, I went on Vietnamese television and that's where I learned my Vietnamese. So, I mean, I'm so surprised that I'm here sitting with you hosting a Vietnamese talk show. But I love what you said and I recognize what you said, the importance of unlearning the language because that one brought me back to my roots. I have a greater appreciation for Vietnamese language, food, music, culture, all of those I used to be embarrassed about growing up. So I would tell you, I recognize what you're saying. I, it's my lived experience. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, I'm so proud to be sitting here with you because I was also part of the ad hoc campaign to start the Vietnamese English right. Language Immersion Program that we at that point was calling it Vili. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were sitting amongst, you know, a, a table and, and you know, at a you know, boba shop with friends and just dreaming of this dream, you know, and I'm so proud that the program has grown the way it has. Um, I just had a very small, you know, impact and participation in the project, but I love that this enrichment program mm -hmm. will help grow the program. But more importantly, not to help the Vietnamese community and helping our children or our children's children to preserve the language, the culture and the history, but also to enrich, you know, our fellow Americans. Mm -hmm. um, thank you again so much for that and thank you for listening to my story of my language you know well, development and growth in the community well it's important it's a it's an important story it's an important story so that um, everyone understands why we benefit from you know projects like the dual language immersion Yes, thank you so much again, Don, uh, Senator Umberg. À, thưa quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV, hôm nay Julie có thời gian rất là đặc biệt nói chuyện với thượng nghị sĩ Tom Umberg. Uh, Tom Umberg nói là cái chương trình um, uh, song ngữ đây là rất là quan trọng, không phải là để cho giúp cho trẻ em, để cho giữ cái ngôn ngữ của người Việt Nam, mà giữ về cái lịch sử của người Việt, cái văn hóa của người Việt Nam, mà mình không có quên cái câu chuyện của cái người Việt biên của người Việt Nam. Uh, thêm nữa, mình thấy rất là chừng nào mình hiểu được. Cái, cái công việc đây với giữ cái ngôn ngữ là mình có thể giúp cho mọi người xung quanh, không phải là người Việt Nam không, mà mấy trẻ em khác với mọi người trong uh, cộng đồng của mình. Uh, Julie chia sẻ thêm uh, là uh, lúc mà Julie lớn lên, uh, Julie cũng không có nói tiếng Việt Nam. Uh, lúc mà còn mẹ đó thì Julie chỉ nói tiếng Anh thôi. Mình có giống như nghe lời mẹ đó là học hành cho có, có bằng gấp với có cái tương lai mà lúc mà Julie mất mẹ Julie thấy là lúc làm việc rất nhiều việc um, trong công đạo của mình mình mở phòng mạch mình có nhiều bệnh nhân Việt Nam với mình làm rất là nhiều việc thực thiện lúc đó Julie mới hiểu cái quan trọng để cho mình giữ cái ngôn ngữ của người Việt Nam về cái văn hóa của người Việt Nam với um, vân vân rất làm nhiều việc với với thương mến uh, cái cái uh, quê hương của mình um, like I, I was mentioning that you know once I learned the language I learned to love my homeland but I think that's one thing about it is now, you know, America is my new home. And, you know, no matter from the outside, maybe some people will never see me as an American. But I think for us, we as Vietnamese American know that we're American, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so we thank you for all that you, you've done. And, you know, um, I want to just segue quickly because I know uh, we're running out of time. But um, I know that you have uh, three Senate bill, um, Senate resolutions uh, that you, you, you shared in the community and if you can briefly mention why did you do it and why do you think it's so important for us to recognize that well I think it's important for all Californians to recognize the contribution of the Vietnamese American community so that's why I introduced SCR 2 that commemorates sadly April of 1975 you know the black April resolution so that we know of the sacrifice and the courage and the struggle yes that that the Vietnamese Americans went through to come here to the United States and, and again why we benefit from their entrepreneurial skills, their culture, their um, all, all the, what they bring to our economy. That's number one. Then number two is Vietnamese Armed Forces Day. Um, I have a particular affinity, love. My father-in-law fought in Vietnam. 
I spent many years in the military, my wife's in the military, and we should recognize the courage and the patriotism and the sacrifice of, of Vietnamese soldiers as well, Vietnamese yes. uh, members, and then King Hong Vung, who was basically, that recognizes as a cultural issue, the founding of Vietnam, you know, many, many centuries ago. But it's important, again, that, that we as Californians recognize the heritage of the Vietnamese community. Well, thank you so much, um, Senator Tom Umbert, for coming on our show today and for sharing me and educating me about my history. Because I think a lot <laughs> of times, you know, when we, we are, you know, we didn't get to keep, keep that history part of it. And when we meet elective officials like yourself and the team of, of such, we get to learn more about where we came from. So thank you for recognizing the contributions of Vietnamese Americans and for seeing us as Americans first and foremost. Thanks. Thank well, thank you. Thank you for the privilege of representing this community. I, I'm really honored and take it as a tremendous responsibility to be the voice of the community in Sacramento. Well, thank you so much again, Senator Amber. Uh, Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Hôm nay Julie có thời gian đặc biệt nói chuyện với thiên nhiên sĩ Tom Amber. Tom Amber cũng cảm ơn uh, mọi quý vị để cho uh, Tom đại diện cho cộng đồng của mình. Mà quan trọng nhất, Julie cảm ơn uh, Senator Amber để cho uh, recognize cái uh, tháng đưa đen của mình với mọi người hy sinh cho uh, cái tương lai của, của người Việt Nam của mình ở uh, Hoa Kỳ đây. Với thêm nữa uh, là mình hiểu về cái lịch sử của mình với cái uh, với King Hùng, Hùng Vương. Uh, Julie cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Julie chúc quý vị rất nhiều hạnh phúc và sức khỏe. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV.